March is National Kidney Month, and a teenager in San Antonio is patiently waiting for the day that she'll receive a kidney transplant. KINS 5 reporter Alyssa Tea spoke with that 17-year-old who's been getting care for more than a year now. From 6 a.m. to around 10.30. Mary Jane Rodriguez sits in this chair receiving dialysis treatment. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And she has for the past year after not being able to breathe one day at school in Lubbock. I wasn't eating and everything, and I just blew it off as like, oh, I'm just like, not hungry anymore. She spent a few days in the hospital where they told her she had kidney failure. Rodriguez was flown to San Antonio for treatment. They didn't, they didn't have the pediatric resources, so they sent me here. To continue oh, receiving care, Rodriguez had to pack up her life and move to the Alamo City with her family. Okay, so it's also forced her to grow up. You lose friends and Family sometimes don't always agree with the stuff that's going on. She says she's grateful for all the care she's received. The Children's Hospital of San Antonio is one of eight CMS certified pediatric dialysis centers in Texas. We're actually very capable of serving a huge population of children. Rodriguez is hopeful she'll receive a kidney transplant soon. I get emotional thinking about it because I've literally gone through so much, almost dying, and then be able to but have a normal life, it just, just seems like so much to me. So she can say goodbye to this chair for good. Alyssa Tea is Ken's Five. Krista's Health provided some things to look out for if you think your child may have kidney problems. First off, make sure they're urinating and keep track of how often. Some kids may experience pain while urinating as well. And if your child is frequently wetting the bed at night and during the day, we'll have more information on kens5.com to help you further.